In this session, we are looking at something called annuities. Now, annuities is an investment that gives a return in the form of a series of equal cash flows. So for example, we might have in T0 an investment of $600. So that's a cash outflow. But then we expect in T1 to have an inflow of $300, excuse me, an inflow of $300. And likewise, in T2, we will have an inflow of the exact same amount, so another $300, and the same in T3. So when we're looking at annuities, um, what we are trying to do is the very same thing as we did when we looked at net present values. We are trying to work out what is the net present value of this particular investment. The only difference is the future cash inflows all have the very same value. So let's have an exercise to see how we deal with annuities. We're told then that a project costing $2,000, so we can assume that is a cash outflow in T0, has returns expected to be $1,000 each year for three years where our discount rate is 10%. Now we want to calculate the net present value, first of all, using our existing MPV analysis. So in other words, the very same way we've been calculating net present values up until now. And then we're going to calculate the MPV using annuity tables. So we'll look at part A first. Don't worry about part C for the moment. We'll get to that after we've done parts A and B. So calculating the MPV using our existing net present value analysis. Well, we know how to do this. Our existing analysis will set up a table with the year, the cash flow, the discount factor at 10%, and the present value of each cash flow. So we've got, in year zero, our cash outflow of 2000 in a year's time, we're going to receive our first cash inflow of $1,000. In a year after that, we'll receive our second cash inflow of $1,000. And finally, in T3, we'll receive our final cash inflow of $1,000 again. So now we need to put in our discount factors at 10%. So our discount factor at the present point in time will be 1. What is our discount factor for a time period n is equal to 1 at a rate of 10%? Look at your discount or your present value tables and you should get 0.909. Our discount factor at 10% over two years, 0 0.826. And when n is equal to 3, our discount factor will be 0 0.751. So multiplying these through then to calculate our present values, the present value of our initial cash outflow will be $2,000 negative. Present value of $1,000 in one year's time, 1,000 by 0.909, gives us 909. Of our $1,000 in two years' time, 
The present value will be 826. And our thousand dollars in three years' time will be 751. So if we sum these values together, the net present value of all of them is 486. Okay, so this is similar to what we've seen before. Now we want to look at part B, where we are going to calculate the present value again, except this time we're going to use our annuity tables. Now, the annuity tables will be given to you in the exam, and they can be used in a situation like this, where our future cash inflows all have the exact same value. Now, just bear in mind the net present value of our project is equal to the value of our initial investment plus the net present value of our future cash flows. Applying that to this question, the net, net present value of the project is equal to negative 2,000, which is the value of our initial investment, plus the NPV of future cash flows. Remember, our future cash flows will be $1,000 receivable for three years starting one year from now. So, now we can look at our annuity tables. So, they'll be just below your present value tables. We have our annuity table. Now, the annuity table gives us the discount factor to apply to an annuity where a discount rate of R applies and the number of periods is N. In this case, we have been told that the discount rate is 10%. And we know that the annuity is going to be payable for three time periods. So N is equal to three. If we look at cross-reference these two values in our table, we see we get a value of 2.487. What we are being told here is that an annuity of $1 is equal to 2.487 in present value terms if the annuity is payable for three years. So to calculate the present value of our annuity of $1,000, we just have to multiply it by 2.487. So we get then the net present value of our project is equal to 2,000 plus 1,000 multiplied by 2.487. Where this is the present value of an annuity of a thousand dollars payable for three years at ten percent. So working that through the value of our project, or the net present value of our project, is equal to 2,000 plus 2,487. So the net present value of our project is $487, which is the same as the answer we got before, allowing for minor rounding differences. So when you have an annuity, instead of calculating 
the net present value of the cash flow for each year. Instead, you can just use your annuity tables and multiply um, the cash inflow for each year by the discount factor given to you in the annuity tables. Okay, so that's parts A and B complete. Things could get a little tricky in these annuity questions. So we have assumed, or we have been told, that our first cash inflow is going to be one year from now. But what if our first payment, our first cash inflow, isn't going to be received um, for a number of years into the future? So, we're asked in part C, solely considering the annuity, what if the cash flows commenced in, first of all, year four? So, what we are being asked here is, what is the value of the annuity today if it doesn't begin until year four? Now, it's useful in particular for these type of questions where the payments don't start until a few years in the future to draw yourself a little timeline to make sure you understand what is going on. So let's have a look. So we have an annuity of $10,000 which will be paid for three years starting in year four. So, remember, we are in the present time, T0. So in this case, after one year's time, nothing's going to happen. After two years' time, nothing's going to happen. Three years, nothing. And then, in four years' time, we are going to receive our first cash inflow of $1,000. And remember, we're going to receive that cash inflow each year for three years after year four. So we'll receive the first inflow in T4 and T5. We'll get our second cash inflow of 1000 And in T6 we'll have our third and final cash inflow. Now remember, we also had our initial investment of 2000 still in T0, um, but for the purposes of this question, we've been asked to only consider the value of the annuity if it begins in year four. So the problem we have here is we know that we could look at our annuity tables and calculate the present value of an annuity of $1,000 receivable for three years. But if we do that, then we are going to calculate the value of the annuity in the year immediately before it starts being paid. So in other words, the first thing we will do is calculate the value of our annuity in T3. We do that by taking the very same approach as we saw in parts A and B. We just look at our annuity tables, the time period or N is 3 and the discount rate is 10%. However, because the annuity doesn't begin until some point in the future, we are going to have to take an extra step. After we have calculated the value of the annuity in T3, then we are going to have to discount back to T0. Now, this might look complicated, but actually, these two steps are nothing that you haven't already seen. So, our first step then is to work out the value of the annuity in T3. All this is, is the annuity 
cash flow, which is $1,000, multiply by the value of an annuity paid for three years where the discount rate is 10%. And we just pick that up from our annuity tables. So again, we know it's 2.487. So we multiply that through. And what we are saying here is that the value of this annuity in T3 is 2,487. Now we just need to discount back and work out what is that worth in T0. So what is 2,487 in three years time worth now? So we discount to T0. So we know <coughs> that our discount fat rate is 10%. The value in three years time is 2487. So if we want to discount that back to T0, we just need to look at our present value tables to see what the discount factor is. So the discount factor, where a rate of 10% applies and the time period N is equal to 3, gives us a discount factor of 0 0.751. So we multiply then by 0 0.751. And 2487 in three years' time has a present value of... 1868. So, all you have to remember is that if an annuity starts at some point in time other than one year from now, then you have to take two steps. First, you calculate the value of the annuity in the year just prior to when the annuity begins. And then you discount that value back to T0. Now we're going to do this again to make sure you're comfortable with it. We've also been asked in the question to calculate the value of the annuity if it begins in year 6. So our approach is the very, very same. Let's start off by doing our timeline. So now we have an annuity of $1,000 beginning in year 6. So, in T0 then, we have our initial investment of 2000 We don't have to do anything with that for this question. For a number of years then, nothing happens. Then in T6, we have our first cash inflow of $1,000. In T7, our next inflow of $1,000. Remember, the cash inflow is for a three-year period, starting in year six. So for years six, seven, and eight. So if we use our annuity tables to find the present value of this annuity, what we are doing is calculating the value of the, the annuity in the year immediately before it actually begins. So our first step then will be to calculate the value of the annuity in T5 then we are going to have to discount back from T5 to T0. All right, so let's do our first step, the value of the annuity in the year immediately before it begins. So the value of the annuity in T5 will be the value of the cash flow multiplied by, from our annuity tables, if we look at the value of an annuity, when our time period 
is 3 and our discount factor is 10%, we know it's 2.487. So we multiply then by 2.487. So the value of the annuity in year 5 is 2,487. So the present value of the annuity in T0 is 2,487 multiplied by our discount factor um, for a discount rate of 10% and a time period of n is equal to 5. So if we look at our discount or our present value tables, where our discount rate is 10% and n is equal to 5, our discount factor is 0 0.621. So, the value of our annuity at T0, so in current terms, is going to be 2487 multiplied by 0 0.621 gives us 1544. Okay, we're nearly there. We have been asked to do one last thing. If we look at the exercise... We have also been asked to work out the value of the annuity if the cash flow begins in year zero. Let's look at our timeline again and see what's happening if the first cash inflow is in year zero. So now, so we have an annuity starting in year zero. If that is the case, then we have in T0 our initial cash outflow of 2,000, but immediately as well a cash inflow of 1,000. So ask yourself, what is the present value of that first cash inflow? The present value is going to be still $1,000. If we're getting it now, if we're receiving that money today, then the discount factor is 1, and the present value is going to be 1,000. Which means our second cash inflow is going to be received in one year's time. We'll get our next $1,000. And our third cash inflow is in two years' time. Our final installment of $1,000. So what's actually happening here is that in T0, we have a net cash outflow of $1,000 and we are getting an annuity of $1,000 for the next two years instead of the next three years. So the value of our annuity is equal to the $1,000 that we are receiving now plus the present value of an annuity of $1,000 received for the next two years. Once you understand that, it's quite straightforward. So the value of the annuity is $1,000 plus the present value of an annuity received for two years at a discount rate of 10%. So we know that'll be 1,000 multiplied by, let's check our annuity tables. So our discount rate is 10% still, but now we're only going to be receiving this amount for two years into the future. So we need to multiply by 1.736. So multiply by 1.736. The total value of the annuity is equal to 2,736.